Upon our visit to the Comas Dal Results Collection Center, it was clear that some people waiting in the queues are symptomatic with signs like coughing. Hilda Kavari, one of those frustrated by the process, says she was tested nearly two weeks ago and has since been in isolation. Today, she was again told results are not yet available. Many other people we spoke to expressed similar frustration with some under pressure to return to work but requiring a negative test result to ensure they don't risk fellow employees. Another person told NBC News that her husband tested positive for the coronavirus. She then decided to get herself and their two children tested and while the two minors have since received their results via text message, both testing positive, she is yet to receive her results. She is conscious that she could have the virus herself, although not showing symptoms, but worries about those with whom she has to share a queue. There is little she could do, though, as it was virtually impossible to keep the required two meters distance between people lined up, especially with everyone scrambling for an opportunity to be helped first. My older son and my sister-in-law and me, we didn't get our results yet, but they say it's a lab problem, something. They change it to the lab insights and we are going to receive it. But when I, on Monday, when we come here, there was no social distance and even first Tuesday, there was no social distance. Even today, there is no social distance for the people. I don't know what is going on here, but I got now the sick leak from, from the nurses. Some members of the public also took to social media, expressing their dissatisfaction. Their concerns is that should testing continue to be done in such uncoordinated fashion, this may serve only to aggravate the number of infected people. Contacted for comment executive director in the ministry, Ben Nangombe says the delay is caused by an increasing number of samples tested across the country. On the issue of social distancing, Nangombe says it remains surprising that still now people expect to be policed into respecting the physical distancing protocols, something that was supposed to be considered normal by now. Daniel Nadunian, BC News, Vent Hook.